Prophet Shepherd Bush Ari gets very angry, deports his Malayan employees from South Africa. Prophet Shepherd Bush Ari is sending back some Malayans working for him in South Africa and also cut on Malawi charity programs, Nyaza Times understands. Bush Ari who is leader of Enlightened Christian Gatherings, ACG, one of the fastest rising churches in Southern Africa and runs number of businesses, is said to have come to such a position after observing a series of continued attacks from Malayans despite his benevolence. Unconfirmed reports indicate that poor Shiri feels underappreciated for all the great things he does for his country and his people. Apart from the normal charity programs in Malawi, the Man of God claims he helps tens of thousands of Malayans in South Africa with small loans, job opportunities at the church, school fees, monthly stipends, and also help during funerals and sicknesses. Asked to confirm the development, Bushari's communication directory frame Nyondo said he is yet to get an official position but his office is currently advising the Prophet to reconsider his benevolence on Malayans. Nyondo retorted at Nyazu Times for fishing out on negative publicity against the Prophet. Prophet Bushari is doing so much for Malawi. However, it's shocking to note how, instead of being celebrated, he is attacked and slewed like a criminal. A lot of people here in South Africa come to him for help. He literally subsists so many. Nobody talks about it, even Nyazu Times and other media don't write about it. But when something wrong happens to these people, all the blame goes on him. Why? Said Nyondo. The death of James Nay, Biston and Brain is a case in point. Prophet Bushiri only knew James, the church worshipper. The other two were neither employed by the church nor had a special connection with the church. They were just members of the church. But when an accident happened, Prophet Bushiri took the responsibility of meeting every rising cost. Instead of being appreciated for it, people from Malawi are leading in attacking him. Is this fair? When he gives maize, he is blamed for missing albinos. When he gives money to national football team, he is blamed for causing deaths. When he helps people with fees, he is blamed. Really? He is also a human being. He feels pains. He feels bad. That is why my office is advising him to cut back on Malians. Nyondo further said, we really want him to concentrate on countries and people that appreciates his benevolence. He should be cutting back on Malawi. I think this is best thing he can do now. Bushari on Saturday missed the wedding of his in-law and gospel rapper Wamba to Mu Kondi in the long way as he was mourning the death of church worshipper James Nay and his friends. He visited the family of Nay in the long way to mourn with them and conducted a comfort service. Despite criticism he has been guest on social media platforms, discrediting him as a false prophet and a satanist, the negative tags mostly attached to any successful Malayan Malawi government is now embracing Prophet Bushari and President Peter Mathurika delegated Justice Minister Samuel Tembni to represent him at the cleric's recent crusade at Bingu National Stadium in the long way. Tembnu said President Maharika is exceedingly delighted with Bushari's ministry work. He added that President Maharika also appreciated Prophet Bushari's humanitarian work in the country. The Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister said Malawi government shall always protect the right of religious bodies and institutions to practice their religion freely and without let or hindrance.